Hey, good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0 bonus material. This is Marty Miller with Summit Property Group in Houston, Texas, coming to you with a new video today on how to split documents within your DocuSign room. So uh, more often than not, when we are either, um, I know personally, when I'm filling out all of my listing documents, I actually print them all off. I have them filled out uh, kind of by hand, those that need to be filled out and signed at the actual listing presentation, uh, the listing appointment, if you will. I know oftentimes as well, when I am receiving offers or contracts from buyer's agents, they send everything in one PDF document. And so sometimes um, it is a little difficult to split it off, especially now that KW Command um, requires that we have placeholders for each individual document. So I wanted to show you a quick and easy way to do that within your DocuSign room. So uh, we are going to load the document. Uh, this is real life scenario from one of my listings. I had all of the documents. I actually couldn't scan them in, in in one part. So I had to scan them in in two separate parts. But let's just say listing docs part one. So I'm gonna add this file to my folder. Um, this is not the real folder, it's just a test one that I made up. And yet if I right click on this listing, once it's done uploading, you'll see this progress bar here at the bottom. It's working through, uploading the document. Once it has been uploaded, it tells me you're good to go. I'm gonna right click on it, and then I'm gonna hit split. When I hit split, it brings up this new window and it's gonna start loading all of the pages here just so I can kind of see what those look like. And I can hover over them if I need to, to kind of get a closer view. Um, I'm not doing anything, I'm just hovering over and moving my mouse to get a closer view as to what that document is. So I could call document number one, information about brokerage services, which is document number one. And that's only page one of this scan. I'm gonna click on add a document. And the second document is actually the executed listing agreement. That compromises page two through page 11. So I'm gonna put two dash 11. And you can see the documents that I'm selecting all start turning blue. Are these all the ones that you want? I can go in and say, yep, this is the last page. It's signed, perfect. Add a document. Document number three is actually the HAR 300 document and that's gonna be page 12. And you can see I can go on and on. Let's see, what's number one? Okay, so the fourth document is seller's authorization to release and advertise. Okay, so as I keep doing this, it's basically allowing me to split up the documents by page number. I'm gonna go in, add a document. And so this way I'm not scanning in or having to separate out and then upload separate documents. I can upload one document and then utilize DocuSign to split it for me. I'm not gonna go through the rest of this process just for sake of time, but I am gonna hit save when I'm done. Document five file name. Okay, so I'm gonna X out of this. I would started a new document that hadn't titled it, so I just closed it out. So let's click on save. And what this should do, document five file name. Okay, there we go. So it, here it is, right? So it basically took all of those documents. Now I still have my listing doc part one. This was the original document that I split and I have all of the rest of the documents now split out. So the nice thing is when I go back into command and I'm looking for specific documents from my command opportunity documents window, each one of these should be listed there. So that's essentially how you use your DocuSign room. Again, it's as simple as right clicking on, and it has to be a PDF document. I click on split, and then it allows me to get back into the splitter. So I can go through, and again, I stopped at page, what was it, 13? So if I wanted to continue doing this, um, I could just say, okay, new document is wire fraud warning, and that's page 14. Um, and then I would click on save. And now it's gonna pull out wire fraud warning from the big document. And here's the wire fraud warning page 14. So I know some people are kind of a little bit frustrated that we have to do it uh, separate documents. I think that's a strong system, especially for our compliance coordinators. Um, and this hopefully this solution will help those of you that scan everything in as one document or receive from the other party one document, whether that's the listing agent or the buyer's agent, um, a simple and easy way. So I would just add 
that bulk document, the one large document, and then I would use DocuSign to split it for me. Uh, as always, guys, I hope this was very helpful, and I hope you're having a great rest of your day. Looking forward to an amazing weekend, and as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you in the future. Thanks so much.